Well, boys and girls, the Sonic Stop Motion Adventures fan art contest is now over, and it's time for me to announce the winners. But I'm not doing that until the end of the video, so stay tuned. I'm going to show off all of the entries that I got, and man, there were some awesome ones this time around. Um, some that made it hard for me to pick which ones were going to win and which ones weren't. But I'm going to show them all right now, and then at the end of the video, I'll see you where I announce the winners. See you soon. I'd just like to take a second and thank God for inventing water because it tastes pretty damn good. <laughs>
Okay, well it's that time towards the end of the video for me to announce the winners. Now, um, it is the season of giving, isn't it? So I decided to actually include some runner-ups in uh, the categories. There will be the main winner and then two runner-ups. What will the runner-ups get? They will get a small collection of just the prints that uh, the other prize winners will get. Because there were some that were like, man, I really want to give them something because this is such an awesome piece, but I can only choose one. So, Merry Holidays. Uh, I'm going to go through and say the winners for Poster, Moments, and Bedlam. So, the winner for the poster category is, a, well, I'm assuming this is what your email said your name was. So I'm going to show your piece right here because you'll know it's you. Um, just K and J in this awesome poster with uh, Sonic Shadow Silver, Metal Sonic, and Bedlam front and center. Uh, your art style is really cool. I like the effect of like the energy aura coming off of Bedlam. Super, super awesome. So congratulations on winning. I loved your piece. Also, if you're hearing some sounds in the background, that's my parrot. He likes to talk when I like to talk, so that's what's going on. And the runner-ups for the poster category are Nebrock. Nebrock, your poster was awesome. Your new renders of Frantic Bedlam, Hypersonic, and Full Power Shadow blew me away. I did not expect you to enter, and the composition of your poster was awesome. My favorite part, I think, is how at the bottom, I think, I don't know if it's hard to tell on the textless version, or the, uh, the version with the text, but you can see like all the layers of cardboard. <laughs> That, that got me so good. And the second runner-up will be Steven Jones, who entered with this awesome poster of Supersonic front and center with Bedlam and the other characters around. It looks awesome. The composition and the colors especially really, really pop. I loved your piece. I know you entered a few other times, and all your other pieces were really awesome too, so... I'm glad I was able to give you uh, something in compensation for him. Okay, the winner for the moments category is Faulty M in their piece they titled Foreshadowing, which I gotta say I really got a kick out of because, um, you know, Bedlam is this character that's been observing these characters for pretty much the entire show, even though season one isn't canon. Um, so we see like half of the piece is Sonic touching the black and rolled back in episode four and turning like different colors and he's like what's going on and then the other half is bedlam in the moderator dimension on like a tv sitting on a sofa like i'm gonna get this dude eventually <laughs> um my also i really like how um because the bedlam figure was made from a repurposed shadow and shadows like quill that goes down uh, into like towards his forehead the line was left over, and he even included that in the drawing. I thought that was really funny. Um, and yeah, just this piece and the other pieces you made for this contest were full of so much charm, and I loved them. The poster you did, which had Metal Sonic and Bootleg Sonic from like and other Season 1 stuff, that's Kino, baby. And the runner-ups for the Moments category are, I believe the name is Ultraviolet, who did the... Uh, captured the moment from episode 22 when Sonic, Amy, Silver, and Blaze are on their double date and Jack is like taking their order at the restaurant. Uh, the colors really popped here and yeah, your piece was awesome. I liked it a lot. And also a person by the name of Micah who animated that uh, water segment. Um, I did not expect that at all and I didn't see it up until the very end when I was saving all the entries to my computer. Caught me really off guard. Um, I'm glad someone animated something from like a blooper reel. Uh, so yeah. And the category of Bedlam is won by a user by the name of Aeroblitz, who drew Bedlam in like casual clothes. I am a sucker for seeing characters like in casual clothes. I mean, none of the Sonic characters, most of the, most of the Sonic characters don't wear clothes, but seeing Bedlam and how he might dress just like on a night out, um, in like this flannel and he's got like different shoes on. It looks super super cool. Your art style is awesome. It's really I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like soft. It's easy on the eyes, which is great um, It's a beautiful piece. So congratulations on winning and the two runner-ups for the bedlam category are uh, Ulti Ulti man um, you animated the section of uh, the the scene with bedlam transforming into frantic bedlam now you said in your email and on your on Twitter that this was a late entry, but it actually wasn't. It was the no entries were accepted past 11:59 Pacific Standard Time. You must be in a different time zone and must have been after midnight, but you made it on the Pacific Coast, so good on you. 
runner-up. And the other one, oh my god, this piece I loved, is uh, the user was just SBO Chaotix. They did a couple pieces, actually, more than, I think, like, probably around five or so. Anyway, this piece caught my attention because it is, like, so cute. Um, it's like this fake Instagram mock-up of, like, Sonic and Bedlam just hanging out in the Station Square, and you can see, like, comments below, and you can see that there's, like, multiple pictures in this post on Instagram. This was one of the most original pieces that entered, and I fell in love with it from the moment I first saw it. Um, so yeah, there are all the winners and all of the runner-ups. Um, to everyone that was not a winner or a runner-up, you know what? If I was a rich man with a million or two, everyone would have prizes, every single one of you. Thank you so much for making another successful Sonic Stop Motion Adventures fan art contest. Maybe I'll do another one in the future, who knows, but this was a good time to cap it off for now. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to everyone who entered. I will see you around. And also, all the winners and runner-ups, please check your emails because I will be in correspondence. Alright, goodbye!